Hi everybody, this is Bob with the My Relics Time Hunters Youth Group and today we're going to do a comparison between three pinpointers. Now we have three to look at today. One is the Garrett, one is the X pointer, and the other is a macro. Now the macro is a waterproof pinpointer so it gives you some different advantages that the others don't. Uh, it's also a little bit more expensive but don't be fooled by prices. Just because it's expensive doesn't mean it's the best. So we're going to run these tests and see how they do and compare them. And then at the end of the video, I think I'll go ahead and let you know which one I have a preference for. Uh, and you might be surprised on that. So please stay tuned. And if you haven't done it already, go ahead and like us, share us, and please subscribe to us. We would love to build our audience so that everybody can see what the Time Hunters is are doing. So here's the three pinpointers that we are going to be looking at. The macro is the macro pointer. This is the one that's waterproof. Take a look at that. And the Garrett Pro Pointer. Okay, the Garrett Pro Pointer. And last would be the uh, let's see what the brand on this one is. It's the X pointer, and we'll take a look at that one as well. Now, right off the hand, you can see there's some differences in all three of them. Number one, here you have two buttons. You have an on and off, and then you also have a, syst or a settings that's on the X pointer. The Garrett only has one switch that's on and off, and the macro... If you look, there's no buttons. That's because the buttons are on the top. And the buttons have a on and an off, as well as uh, settings. So you can make it more sensitive. Uh, that's good. So really right off the top of the bat, you have two pointers, pin pointers, that have different types of settings that you can control. That's the X pointer and that's the macro. Whereas the Garrett Pro Pointer, and this is the Garrett Pro Pointer 2, it just has one button that's on and that's off. And it's going to give you a buzz as well as a vibration. And that's it. There's not much more that you can do about that. Whereas the X pointer has <coughs> your turn on and your settings which allows you to increase its sensitivity or decrease its sensitivity and the macro does the same thing the other thing that you'll notice is that they all three of them are virtually the same size okay they're they're all relatively the same shape and same size but they certainly do work differently so we're going to take a look at that all right, we're going to take a look at the cheapest of the three, which is the X pointer. And the X pointer is a nice pin pointer. Let's take a look. I have it set at its highest setting, uh, sensitivity. And let's take a look and see just where it starts to hit up. So we're looking at about an inch and a half before it starts picking up. The other thing, you've got on the tip but it's also on the side as well so you have to be careful when you're looking for it uh, it takes just a little practice but we're looking at about an inch and a half discovery with the X pointer and you'll see like I said earlier the X pointer has two buttons one on off and a settings button and it can vibrate it can beep it can do both at the same time and you can change the sensitivity it also has a nice LED light. It comes in handy when you're doing night digs. So that's the X pointer. It does pretty well. The next one we're going to take a look at is the Garrett pin pointer. All right, here is the Garrett Pro Pointer 2. It's a pretty simple one. You have an on off switch, on off. That's it no other settings it is what it is 
So we're going to... Oh, that was... forgot to turn off the X pointer. So we're going to take a look and see where this one starts to find its target. Just under two inches. That's pretty good. So with the Garrett Pro Pointer 2, we are hitting the target at about two inches, which is nice. And again, you have the tip and you have the entire shaft that is going to react to the metal. So the pointer, the Garrett Pro Pointer 2 is hitting at roughly 2 inches and it too has an LED light. Now the LED light on the Pro Pointer is not as impressive as the X Pointer. The X Pointer's uh, LED light is much brighter. Okay, the next one we're going to take a look at is the Macro. Alright, the last one is the Macro Pin Pointer. Uh, it is a waterproof machine. Its buttons are at the top. You've got your on and off and your settings. And the speaker is also at the top as well. So it's definitely different than the, the rest of them that are out there. Let's check its abilities. About one and a half inches. That's not too bad. So the macro is about one and a half inches and it's waterproof. Um, the Garrett Pro Pointer 2, I think, was roughly two inches and then the X Pointer was one and a half. So those are the three that we're going to take a look at. Also, the macro has a light right at the tip, which is pretty good. Okay. Okay, next what we're going to do is kind of just have a discussion about what the differences in all of these pinpointers because there really is a significant difference when you get out in the field. So let's take a look. So after the test results, what we see is that the Garrett Pro Pointer 2 finds its target within two inches as opposed to the Macro and the X Pointer which are roughly one and a half inches, maybe a little bit more. However, distance isn't always the best. And one of the things that I don't like about the Garrett is that it's always going to beep and it's always going to buzz in your hand. You can't change that. So if you're kind of on a covert mission or you don't want people to hear you, it's not the best piece of equipment for you also the light if you could see right in there a lot of dirt and mud gets caked in there and it's recessed in there which means that the sand and the dirt and the mud sticks in it's very hard to get it out so it almost is useless to use for a light source when we take a look at the pro pointer i'm sorry with the uh, x pro x pointer you do have the two options or the two buttons on off and then it can buzz it could beep it could buzz and beep you can change the sensitivity and the light the light is incredible um, it is the best light that I have out of the three so definitely definitely it's a choose it's a it's one that I pick up if I'm gonna go night height uh, night hunting and finally, I have the macro. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the macro pointer, inch and a half. It's really sturdy and rugged. It feels like it would not break. It also comes with um, uh, pieces that go on top of the, the shaft so that you can dig with it, which is pretty handy. Then it doesn't get worn out. The huge problem that I see with this is the buttons on the back it is and you wouldn't think so but it is so inconvenient to have it on the top when you're hunting uh, uh, targets because then you got to find it and you got to hold on to the button for a little while then you gotta let go then it charges up and it's ready to go when it goes to turn off 
you hold it and it's going to make a loud beep so again this is not a stealthy type of pin pointer it's not going to be good if you're trying to be as quiet as you can however it works fabulous in the water i've used it i found a gold ring with it pin pointing so that was quite a bit of fun and out of the three that's this is the one i would trust in the water of course the others are not waterproof however out of the pro pointer the garrett pro pointer the macro pointer or the x pointer on my days just regular hunting i'm picking the cheapest one it works great it works i think better than the garrett pro pointer 2 uh i can set the settings i can be quiet i can turn on i can turn off the light wonderful wonderful piece of machinery um so there you have it if i were to pick out of the three for regular everyday hunting it would be the x pointer and if i'm going uh water hunting i definitely use the macro the macro is really really well one thing i do usually do because it's such an inconvenience to turn it on and off is i just turn it on and i leave it on for the entire time of my hunt it's just easier that way i don't have to play around with it so i hope this video is helpful for you there's a couple places that i would recommend you go if you're looking for a pointer you can go to my favorite place that i go to which is serious detecting uh, and that's in Ann Arbor or there's all kinds of other places that you can look online uh, to buy these pieces but uh, serious detecting is is comparable and compatible uh, good prices so I hope this video is helpful and remember if you like what you saw like us share us subscribe to us